Hey there guys, what's up? Game number 12 KZ here, back with another video today. And welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, where we are going to be doing the Glide Circuit. If you haven't seen the last two episodes, then please uh, go check them out. That, it, that shows how we unlock the Glide Circuit. Okay, so we are going to be doing it in the McLaren Senna. I customized it a little bit, as you can see. Well, that sounds super fast. Whoa. Okay. Number of laps, one. You can do like 50 laps, but no, nah, I'm just going to do one lap. Um, time of day. I'm, I'm going to do clear. Summer. Let's do... You know, let's do autumn just for a change. Sunrise. No, let's do early afternoon. Yeah. We have a Nissan. Uh, I forgot the na the name of the model. Which is stupid. Come on. Oh shoot. Bro, this glad circuit has a lot more turns compared to the one in Forza Horizon 3. What what the heck? Okay, we're in fifth place all of a sudden. We went from eighth place to fifth place. Which is a little weird. In a good way. What the heck, man? No! Come on.
Come on, bro. Whoa. There's that, there's that guy in first place that's like ahead of everyone else and you just can't catch up to him, which is super annoying. Okay, this is a long street here, so hopefully I can catch up to this dude. Dang, the border of this map is so beautiful. Like the coast and everything. I haven't been to like the the north west side of the map for a long time or the southeast side of the map. I've only been to the south uh southwest side of the map or the north side of the map. Okay. Oh, we're, this guy's right, like, right there. We just can't catch up to him. Wait, what happened to him? Did he, like, lose control and run into the forest? Okay, I see what happened. I mean, no one, no one seems to be behind us. See, that's the bad part about looking behind. You, don't, you can't see what's ahead of you, and then you just, like, run into something, and everyone else just goes ahead of you. Oh, <sighs> God. Okay, my goal is to finish this race within 8 minutes and 30 seconds. We're at 7 minutes and 50 seconds, so we got... You know what? It's... I'll change my goal. It's, it's my goal to finish this race within 9 minutes. So the McLaren Senna is the best car for this race, from what I can tell. And this thing's max speed is like only 215 or something. We could have gone in the Lamborghini Centenario and that would have that zoomed past like 260. <laughs> oh shit. Why? Just why?
Where are the other guys? Oh, they're on they're only They're over here. Okay. We just can't see them on the mini map cuz it's a mini map. Okay, we're not gonna finish this race with the nine minutes. Cause we're already at eight minutes and fifty seconds. Wait, whoa, okay, this guy caught up to us. There's that one guy. Like, you think you're ahead of everyone else, but you're not. There's that one guy in second place that's that's gonna make you super nervous. And then you're just gonna choke. And, yeah, you're gonna lose. Oh, shh. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. It's right there. Let's go. First place. 84,000 credits. Dang. Okay, guys, that was the glide circuit. How how'd y'all like it? Um, do you like the do you like the one in Forza Horizon two, three, or four better? I don't know if there is a glide circuit in the very first Forza Horizon game, but if there was, which one do you like best? Um, me, I've only played Forza Horizon three and four, so out of the two, I liked. I don't know, I think, I think this one's easier, but I like that one better. I don't know why, I, that that one just feels better, because there's more straights and stuff. This one's like sharp turns. I mean, it's easy, but it's just sharp turns and stuff, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye.